We are just three days away from the skies over Albuquerque being filled with color. Of course, you know what we're talking about. The Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta kicks off on Saturday. So joining me this morning to talk about everything Fiesta is Balloon Fiesta spokesperson Tom Garrity. Thanks for coming on. You bet. Great to be here. Yeah, so I would imagine that it's a little bit daunting to try to top the 50th, right, last year. Yeah, that was such a big celebration. It was. Yeah, a great uh, 50th event. But yeah, everybody's saying, okay, so what's next? All right, so what do we have expected this year? <laughs> this year we're actually going to have 500 and uh, almost 550 hot air balloons. Yeah. We're hosting the Gordon Bennett Cup, which is a prestigious gas balloon competition that's yeah. going to be launching from Albuquerque on Saturday. And of course we have a uh, the Globitos are back. We're going to try for another world record with them. Those are the miniature balloons. They are, yeah. They're yeah. quarter size scale okay. and uh, they're going to be uh, participating in four different special sessions for them. And then also we have this thing called the Eclipse, which is going to be <laughs> yeah. happening the second weekend. Yeah, so. that certainly helps top the 50th, doesn't it? Oh, it then? sure does. Okay, so we'll talk about the Eclipse in just a minute. First, okay. though, I want to talk about the drone show. It's going to be back this year. Yeah, it is. You know, Verge Aero is a great partner with uh, Balloon Fiesta on this. Last year, there were 300 drones. This year, we're going to have 500, and uh, we're going to have different wow. shows. Everybody was so enamored with how yeah. great the program was, we decided to bring it back and change it up a bit. I, I was not expecting it. I remember last year stepping out of the RV and thinking, what on earth? Like, right? how cool, right? Because you're standing around waiting for the balloons for quite a while. Okay, so let's talk about that eclipse. Okay. 9.13-ish is when it starts? 9.13 uh, is when it starts. Our okay. launch window is from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Okay. And uh, so, you know, we'll have a uh, potential of having balloons in the air, but we know for a fact we're going to have balloons on the ground as well. For a glow, That's right? right? As it gets pitch black out there. Well, it, it will be pitch black, okay. but it'll be definitely, we'll, we'll, it'll be like Darker. sunrise. Yeah. 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 And uh, we'll have 72 hot air balloons doing static display glow and 72 to commemorate 1970 the first year of Balloon Fiesta. One thing is for sure is how packed uh, Balloon Fiesta will be all the days. Yeah, you know, uh, getting to, people should definitely plan ahead mm -hmm. when they're thinking about attending uh, the Balloon Fiesta, especially the very first day. Uh, you know, remember, we haven't done this in about a year, and so yeah. it's going to take a little bit of muscle memory, to, you know, a little bit of uh, time for muscle memory to yeah. come back. Uh, you know, getting to Balloon Fiesta Park is really easy to do. You just take either Tramway by way of I-25 I to Tramway or Alameda, uh, and that is good whether you're coming from the Northeast Heights or the West Side. So when do you recommend the best time to go to Balloon Fiesta is? Well, you know, uh, the very first day is, uh, you know, I would say when you wake up, go. Okay. Uh, so, you know, it, it's not unusual to get there about 4.30, 5 o'clock. Uh, because there's you know plenty to kind of mill around and, and just see and you'll avoid the traffic. Now there's yeah. going to be traffic on the first day. There's just that's yeah. just the way it's going to be. Uh, but after that, you know, slipping into a pattern of uh, getting to Balloon Fiesta Park about 5:30 or so mm. is a pretty good habit to have. Yeah, so gates open at 4.30, so as early as possible, right? So um, some things that might help, park and ride and also bike valet. Yeah, you know, uh, park and ride is great because you just go online, you buy your ticket for the time that you want to get to Balloon Fiesta. Bike valet has doubled in size. It's really convenient because what you do is you just uh, you ride your bike up the North Diversion Channel, make sure you have lights, dress in layers, and then you'll actually turn into Balloon Fiesta Park. That service is free, but you have to pay to get into Balloon Fiesta. Fiesta Park. And let's talk about security now. You always you want to feel we want people to feel that they're safe and in good hands at Balloon Fiesta, right? So what mm -hmm. are some of the precautions there? You know, uh, people, yeah, as you mentioned, you know, we, we will have metal detectors. Mm -hmm. uh, people can bring backpacks. They're just going to be searched. Uh, you know, they can bring uh, coolers, uh, also uh, folding chairs and even a little wagon to carry it if yeah. you want. You can bring food, just not for resale. People should avoid bringing any kind of weapons out to Balloon Fiesta Park, uh, glass uh, and, you know, things of that nature. And see, you see that list right there. And finally, let's talk ticket prices. Yeah, so uh, children 12 and under are free. Uh, admission into Balloon Fiesta is $15. Parking is $20, and all of that is per session. Uh, so, you know, if you come in for the morning, uh, you know, know that when you come back, it'll be an additional session fee. 
All right, and you can just feel the anticipation leading up to Balloon Fiesta. Oh, you know, Gabe, it's right? a really exciting time, <laughs> and uh, we're glad that Channel 4 is going to be out there with us. All right, looking forward to it. Thank you so much for being here. And if you miss out on anything, I know this was a lot of information, you can head to KOB.com for our coverage every day of Fiesta here in our, our newscasts and at KOB.com and on social media as well.